Ancient China, it was a time of war within and without. The Great Wall of China was built to prevent invasions, however, sometimes it still wasn't enough. The Manchurians conquered and ruled the mainland from 1644 till 1911. But the Chinese formed rebellions that hid and trained in the Shaolin temples. One such temple was raided and burned down, forcing the temple's five elders to escape. One of those elders was Abis Wu Mei, who escaped to the White Crane Temple in the Daliang Mountains, disguised as a man. In another town, a young girl named Wing Chun lived a happy life until her father accidentally killed a Manchurian in self-defense. Knowing he will not have justice, he took his daughter and fled to a town near the same Daliang Mountain to set up a small tofu shop. To their luck, their tofu became popular amongst the locals, and Abis Wu Mei was a regular customer. Abis Wu Mei was a regular customer. The local warlord, however, was not as interested in the tofu as he was interested in the young Wing Chun. Hey you, come with me. I like you, I think I'll make you my wife. The father tried his best and pleaded with the powerful warlord, but he was stubborn. Abis Wu Mei finally could not stand by and intervened to save Wing Chun. Hey, don't you know who I am? Why, of course, you're the powerful warlord. So I'm sure you'll have no problem with my idea. <coughs> Let me train this girl, and in three months, we'll have a public display of skill. If you can overpower the small girl, you can marry her. If you lose, however, you have to leave town. The crowd cheered on this idea. And the proud warlord was forced to accept the challenge. I'm a merciful lord who has nothing to fear. We will meet again in three months, at which time I will make her my wife. Abis Wu Mei was a skilled martial artist. But compared to her fellow Shaolin monks, the smaller woman could not keep up with their strength and size. So this inspired her to develop a fighting system that used brains instead of brawn. And so Wing Chun's training began. During this short period of time, she was able to learn the basic ideas of Wing Chun and was able to apply them using a deep understanding of the body, its structure, the laws of physics and nature. She was able to develop a fighting system that was fast and efficient. It didn't waste time and it didn't require a high level of fitness or strength. She practiced sensitivity over force, such that even fighting blindfolded with her eyes closed was a simple task for her. She found speed through being relaxed instead of being hard and developed the power to overcome more than one opponent who were larger than her with the least amount of effort. She learned to use her body to deliver power instead of just her arms. She learned that her arms were just nails, but the body was the hammer that drove in the nail. She learned techniques that used both hands at the same time to be faster, and even to use her feet at the same time as her hands. She learned to feel and dissolve attacks instead of clashing with them. She learned a unique style of training called Chi Sao, sticky hands, which uses sensitivity to feel your opponent instead of just trying to fight them. And soon she was ready. But the warlord brought his bodyguard to the fight, just in case.
And so Wing Chun went on to marry a husband whom she loved instead. She taught him this style and developed it to teach others until the famous Yip Man learned it. <laughs>